Welcome back to another video. Thank you for joining me today. We're talking about adapting 35 millimeter film into a 120 or medium format film body. And this is a really fun thing to do. It's a way to shoot panoramic film using 120 cameras or, or medium format cameras. Um, so I'm going to be showing you how to do that and the results in black and white film. The big question on my mind was shooting in this way as everybody is uh, really interested in the Hasselblad X-Pan, which I'm pretty sure is the same as that Fuji camera. But basically they are panoramic 35 millimeters. You shoot two frames of 35 smushed together. Um, and they're astronomically expensive. Like if you look them up on eBay, they are crazy expensive. So there's absolutely no way I can afford that. So my curiosity is, will I get these same results or similar results using this strategy and will this become like a Hasselblad X-Pan replacement style shoot? Anyway. How many people are gonna be staring at me? So this is my Mamiya RZ67 Pro 2. This is what we're going to be using to shoot our panoramics. So let's go ahead and load up our film. First we'll take this off. Okay, so in order to make this work, you are going to need some parts and pieces. These are all 3D printed. Uh, my dad has a 3D printer, so he made these for me. Um, if you don't have access to a 3D printer, um, this just, you won't. Yeah, you won't be able to do this. Um, so take out the normal spool. We're gonna put in a 3D printed one that'll fit the 35 millimeter. Where's my other card? Oh, yes. I'm gonna be shooting Ilford FP4, so that's what we're gonna load. That's pretty easy, we put one on each side. in there like that. Making sure the emulsion side faces this. Now the other thing that I've done is I've cut a whole bunch of like spare little rolls of just paper here. This is a 120 film backing. So what I'll do is I'll tape this to, the, to this right here like that. Make sure I can get the most out of this roll. There we go. Then that will sit in this spool like that. And once I feel like I'm, you know, I'm in a good spot, I can go ahead and close this. And I should be good to go. I just want to show you real quick. I'll pull this slide out. As you can see, that's what it's going to look like. Go ahead and attach that. should be good to go. So this piece, this is just going to drop into viewfinder here. That way you're able to frame up um, the image and kind of see what it's gonna look like. Now with this roll, of, uh, I've got 36 frames, so I should theoretically have um, 16 images out of this, but we, well, I guess we'll find out once we develop it. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the GoPro and wander around, take some pictures.
don't know why I'm holding this like this. Got a few shots. Um, very crowded, very crowded there. A lot of tour groups. If you want to go to slightly less populated areas, the weather's getting nice. It means people want to tour around. So I'm all metered up for this shot. Um, looks like we're we're a little bit darker in here. 4.5 at 250th, or one over 250. Yeah. And yeah, it's just a, a nice little meandering creek. We're going upstream, basically. Um, nothing crazy, but slightly shallower depth of field. I think it looks nice. And I even got to catch a duck floating upstream, so that was pretty cool. People working there, so I'm maybe not going to be as talkative. Just waiting for the sun to come out. I know I'm shooting this one halfway between F11 and F16 depending on the highlights. I'm going to guess we're looking at one, one twenty-fifth of a second. Let's see if I can't grab this shot before the sun hits it, because I think it's funny. This pipe is just burst. I'm sure it's not supposed to have. Okay, that was weird. Wouldn't let me take the shot, so. I'm gonna have to, cause I should have at least three more. Just forced me to waste one. We'll see. Okay, we're starting. We're getting some light. Sun's about to peek out all the way. Here we go. It is. All right, I think that's it. I think that was the last one. I felt a lot of resistance on that one. So now what I'm gonna do is take this home, take the whole canister, put it in my little dark tent and open it up in there. And somehow remove it and feed it into my developer all in pitch black, so we should be fun at this point. Anyway, I hope my voice gets better so I don't sound like this for too much longer, but I uh, really appreciate you joining me on this on-location shoot. Hopefully you learned something about using 35 millimeter on a medium format camera, hopefully replicating the Hasselblad X-Pan, that coveted camera. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day, so uh, I will hike back to the car. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.